welcome back to my channel and for those who are new my name is Cassandra welcome 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 so today I will be doing a fierce bold look I'll be doing a smoky eye um this is my first time doing a smoky eye I was pretty nervous but I like how it comes out you guys can tell me you guys can follow my steps and if you want to see how I achieve this look then keep on watching so I'm gonna use this gel liner it's a simple black gel liner and I'm using this slightly angled but fluffy brush from exam designs and I'm using the smallest bit of shadow and I'm just facing my lid because this is very pigmented guys I am just stippling like just pressing it in I'm not doing anything too exciting and just pressing that in like that and I am using another exam design brush and this is a more fluffier brush and I'm just diffusing the edges what did I tell y'all that this is my first time would you believe me would you believe me and I'm just using a paper towel just to wipe every, anything off. I'm just repeating that process because <laughs> if you see me looking there, it's also at a mirror, but it's the zoom mirror, not a double sided mirror. So I am looking at the zoom side just to make sure everything is good. I'm just looking at this inside. So I'm just wiping and stippling. And I don't want a uh, more cat's eyes. I just want it like a little more rounded. So while I'm stippling the cream base. And I'm using this to blend the edges and circling it. I'm doing it in a circular motion. Okay, I think this is enough happy base for one lid. So I'm gonna go into it and do so for the other lid. I'm just pressing it on my lid. I'm going to use my meat matrimony in Matt Ahmed because that's a black black with the same brush that I was using on my lids to put the cream base and I'm just going to set that Okay, try not to look like a raccoon. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild palette, and I am going to go for another blending brush. I'm gonna use this brush. It's a Murphy brush. And yeah, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild palette, and I'm going to use this is the Rose in the Air palette. So I'm going to use this orange shade right here to blend the black into my crease. They always say orange is a good blending color. So just to give them a nice transition. Okay. 
I watched a few uh, tutorials and smoky eyes in the past and I saw this girl she did instead of black I can't remember who it was but I know instead of black she used a brown and it looks so pretty first time when I heard of smoky eye before I was like this into makeup I thought it was like only black you know but then they do smoky eyes with so many other shadows like green smoky eye or blue smoky eye I was like wow who knew you can do smoky eye with um green or blue and purple like I thought it was just only black but now hmm it's not just only black does it look diffused should I use another shade so I'm thinking to use the orange shade in the Kylie Peach palette <laughs> So, I'm kind of finished with the top for now. I'm going to perfect anything else after. So, I'm just going to take my TC and just wipe the fallout. small smudger brush by smudger brush by BH cosmetics and I'm going to go back into matte Ahmed and I'm just gonna set that liner I just placed on my bottom lashes so I'm going to be using the Milani 2-in-1 uh, foundation in the color golden toffee I'm just going to use two pumps on my face because we need to be looking snatched and I'm going to be using this angled brush no face brush by BS Mall but I'm going to apply foundation with my fingers out of my face this here is a medium to full coverage foundation so it's buildable if you want a full coverage and we want to be snatched too, so we want full coverage yeah uh this is good <laughs> this brush is kind of good to like get under your eyes so I'm just tickling it in. I remember when I was just testing the waters with makeup. I never used to use foundation. I only used to use concealer. All over my face. Like, and my makeup used to be booming. I mean, I recently started using foundation. Like, the angle helps with lines and so forth. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color Deep. And I am going to highlight. So I'm going to go as I go. What did I just say? 
I'm going to apply as I blend. So I'm just going to blend it with a wedge that I'm already starting to use. I use a makeup wedge. I use this because it has the thing to, to boil everything away. And I'm just pressing that in. <laughs> I'm noticing that this concealer tends to dry a, a lot faster. So, you gotta blend, man. You got to blend. Mercier setting powder to set under my eye before it starts to crease, you know. So I'm just pressing, pressing. So I'm going to use this Murphy brush, it's a big brush and I'm just going to dust away. And I'm just going to take that out and just set everything else that needs to be set. This is going to be good for this. I'm going to take my black opal invisible setting powder to set the rest of my face with my favorite face brush because it's just big and it gets so fun. contour I'm going to go back into that wet and wild palette and it has this pretty pretty look I keep looking here because my mirror is there it has this pretty deep brown shadow which is working for me so I'm gonna use that with my Too Faced Kabuki brush and I'm just gonna use where I want it and then I'm just gonna buff it up It's Cosmetics Fresh and I'm going to go into my contour palette and I'm going to use the color Java to contour my nose. I'm going to take a bullet brush and I'm going to use this champagne. I'm going to use this champagne color right here. And I'm just going to put it in my hair crease. Modesty by my brow bone here. Just to blend. I'm 
With the same brush, I'm going to use the same champagne gold on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to make some of modesty shadow actually. I'm going to use the color Daydream as blush. It's blush. And modesty along with that champagne gold color. Use the Cover Girl mascara in the color Black Sapphire. my bottle lashes and I'm going to use my LA girl black mascara and this is the curve the perfect curve volumizing mascara on my top lashes Line my lips with the emus. And I'm going to use the LA Girl Matte Lipstick in the color Puddles. to use my Too Faced gloss in the color Barely Legal. So guys, this is it. Finally done. Got my hair. Throw my wig on. I'm looking cute or whatever. And yeah, this is the look. So if you guys like it please tell me in the comments below please don't forget to subscribe and while you're subscribing right next to the subscription button there is a bell just click on it so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video please like comment and tell me if you guys like this type of look what other video I can do you guys just leave it in the suggestion box and I will do it. Uh, yeah, so this is it.